I'm Fabio Viviani. Join me in my home where I'll show you how to cook the exact Italian food my family makes back home in Florence, Italia. On my new show, Chin Chin to Italia. Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and this is Chin Chin to Italian where we celebrate authentic cuisine from across Italy. Today, it's classic Italian staple. Pizza, but not just any pizza, not the classic American greasy pizza. Today, we make my pizza. Today is the real deal. Today, we're making what dreams are made of. So, let's go. Andiamo. The first things that we gotta make when we execute the perfect Italian pizza, it's the dough. Pizza dough, it's easy. Pizza dough is literally a very few ingredient to put together. It's easy to make by hand. It's even easier if you have something like a stand-up mixer with something like a hook attachment. Some people like to do pizza dough with paddle attachment. I think the hook is better. So, hook attachment. We're gonna do a little over a cup of water. It's about a cup and a little over a cup and a quart of water in it. Then we're gonna mix in the water the two main ingredients for activating the pizza dough. Yeast, instant dry yeast, and sugar. The yeast will feed off the sugar and the dough is gonna get nicely activated. Now, as we do these, we also have to add about a tablespoon of flour in it. The gluten help the process of the yeast combining itself with the sugar. It almost like, act like a collagen. So just a little bit of flour in it. And now we're gonna give it a quick swirl. Basically, the goal of this step, it's nothing else than mix. 30 seconds is plenty. Then what we have to do, for a little over a cup, cup and a quart of water. Get your favorite measuring unit. So, this is about a cup. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go like this. Then we remove some of the dough from the side and we're gonna make sure that the water incorporates all the flour. The last touch, as the dough is forming, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to it. All right, now we got about a minute and a half of the dough mixing, you wanna look inside? I have made pizza in the stand-up mixer one and a half million times, literally, million times. And I bet not a single one of those times I didn't drop some flour off of it. I add the flour and a bunch of flour goes out. It's the curse of making pizza at home. You're, you're condemned, doomed to drop flour all over your kitchen. And black shirt, clearly, but mostly the kitchen. Now, let's see. Get rid of these. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And as you can see, the perfect pizza dough, it's ready. I told you making pizza dough was simple. The complex part of the dough is the raising process to let the gluten activate, the yeast bubble, and carbonate the dough. So tomorrow, it's flaky, crunchy, and yet a little bit chewy with a perfect caramelized crust. The proofing of it takes a lot longer than making the dough actually does. This is only a few minutes, but you have to get a wet towel. You have to cover it like this. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. It's either 24 hour refrigerator or eight hour outside of the refrigerator. Because if you make this in the morning, you can have pizza for dinner for sure. But you gotta let it proof at least eight hour room temperature or 24 hour refrigerator. 
choice is yours, all right? And make sure that before you stretch it, you let it relax at room temperature for about a half an hour. Never stretch cold dough. These will multiply and expand and double in volume from this recipe. Tomorrow, you're gonna be able to make at least six, if not eight, pucks just like this. Get these out of the way in the refrigerator. Now, on to the actual stretching and seasoning of the pizza. There is few consideration to be done. Number one, you can use a pizza peel and pizza stone. If you wanna make a round pizza, that's your best option there. Round pizza goes very well with the pizza stone. It's an individual pizza. I mean, unless you can share it, but I mean, do you really wanna share pizza? That's my point, right? especially if it's a round pizza. And uh, you can use a rolling pin to start the rolling process. Now, when you get to the pro level, then you're not gonna need a rolling pin. But to begin with, I suggest you to use it. So how do we go about it? Let's lay down the ingredient for the pizza first. Cheese, tomato, fresh basil, some flaky Parmesan, some good cherry tomatoes. Look at this. So first what we do, you gotta get your dough and you gotta flour it on both sides. It's very important. Get a little semolina on the cutting board to prevent stickiness. A little flour there. And now you get the pizza. What do you do here? So you get it like there, right? You get your rolling pin. Don't get too excited about the rolling pin. Get excited, but not too much. You only wanna use a couple of times. One, and then you flip your pizza, and two, like that. Then what you do, you get your pizza here, and you stretch it, like this. Folding it over your hand, and flipping it. Fold it over and flip it. Look at that. Beautiful round pizza. Tomato. One, two, three, four. Gustave Vida pizza sauce, dense, good tomato sauce flavor. I'm gonna leave about an inch on the edge because that's how you do it. There. Basil, always underneath. It is a federal offense in Italy to put fresh basil in the oven on top. If you want basil, you put it underneath the tomato so it's protected from burning. Then when the pizza comes out, you can put more on top. Same things for any other ingredient like fresh tomato. They go underneath, just like that. Now the cheese. There. Few extra little Parmesan for flavor. And a very tiny, tiny, tiny drizzle of olive oil. Like that. Get your pizza peel. This is the time that you have to be quick. Lift. Look at that. Look at that. Put it there. Get your oven mit, mit, mitten, mitten, mitten. I don't know the name in English of these, but they're adorable and they prevent you from burning your hand. Not sure about the name. Mit, mitten, whatever it is, use these if they are available. These are great, very protective. If not, if you're just like me, don't care about burning yourself because you're a chef, you've been there before, just use a towel, that will work too. Look at that. Take these out, pull the pizza stone, which has been preheated and get your pizza, give it a little wiggle. You know the wiggle? This is the wiggle. Look at that. I look like I've done this before. Put these things back in, and now you cook it till it's ready. Till it's ready. Now, you might think I'm trying to be fun here. Till it's ready, Fabio. 
Give us a temperature. Give us a time. All right, temperature, at least 400 degrees. At least. 425 better, 450, optional, but recommended. The reality is that how long is it gonna take? It's depending on how thin you stretched it. If it was a pan pizza, it'll take 20 minutes. Round pizza might take five or 10. Your best option is to look at it every three minutes or so, take a peek. Don't open the oven, don't open it. Like take a peek like this, take a little peek and close it. Because if you keep opening the thing, the temperature is gonna go down and the pizza is gonna be like, yo, bro, we're trying to cook in here. Live us alone. Don't do what my mom used to do. My mom used to put this big roasted chicken in the oven and every two minutes looking at it. Like if you look at it, it's gonna cook faster. Leave it alone. It's got a caramelized, you got the cheese, everything is chilling now. You need to chill too. Look at it. If you have a window on your oven, it's even easier. You don't even have to open it. All right, so give it a few minutes and seven to 10 minutes, the pizza will be cooked, I promise you. So we're not trying to be funny when we tell you the pizza is ready when it's ready, but the pizza is ready when it's ready is the most accurate statement to let you know that you'll see when it's ready. It's gonna look like a ready pizza. Don't keep your face right on it, because when you open, you're gonna get like, it's like a hot air. So go like this, open for a second, let it steam out, Oh, look at the pizza. Good looking pizza. And guess who made it? All right, guys, for about 10 minutes in, pizza's ready. <laughs> who makes the best pizza? This guy. You didn't have to answer. It was a rhetorical question. It's clear who made it. Just I'm amusing myself right now because look at this pizza. Beautiful. Put it there. By the way, you could also be a beer wine with pizza, totally good, a cold beer, but because this pizza has a lot of cheese, Cabernet Sauvignon, good pairing for this pizza. You need something a little bit more robust than a cold beer. A glass of Cabernet Sauvignon will do for me. Chin, chin.